Officials in Hampton, New Hampshire, say that an emergency has been declared as a result of extremely high seas and flooding there. If you are familiar with Hampton Beach, take a look at these homes precariously perched on some of the piers here. Uh, Ocean Boulevard is temporarily closed down, and people are being asked to avoid this area. As you look there, streets impassable. The tide is up. Water is rushing, you know, underneath those homes. That that uh, are there right on top of the water. If you live there, police are asking that you temporarily just leave the area for higher ground. And there is an evacuation shelter that's been set up for this event. That is going to be at Hampton Academy Gymnasium. So again, if you need somewhere to go while waiting for the tide and the water to recede, that is Hampton Academy Gymnasium. This is an emergency situation. An emergency has been declared uh, because of these high seas. We can see uh, the coastal flooding has been an issue all this morning since our rainstorm last night. There you can see about the depth of the water there. I believe we're looking at Ocean Boulevard there, the restaurants and spots that line Ocean Boulevard. That car seems to be okay driving through it. Uh, always not a good idea to drive through water uh, that's very deep, but that seems to be about halfway up the tires of that SUV. Um, and as you look back toward, uh, toward land, you can see that it seems to be a little bit better, but as Sky Eye pans over the area and gives us a full look here, look at that flooding. I mean, the water has just rushed in. A lot of these uh, old hotels, motels that uh, are along the waterway there at Hampton Beach and known so well. Um, the, you know, high tide uh, happened about 30 minutes ago or so. And, uh, you know, so you can see that in some spots it's passable, but those homes that are right out on the piers, uh, the sea foam and the water have really begun to inundate that area. So you can understand why here we see fire crews beginning to arrive. You know, this is just going to cause incredible headaches today as people are dealing with this localized flooding. Uh, this will lead to power outages, no doubt, if they don't already exist in that area. And no one certainly wants to end up in a situation where they're in a car and they try to drive through this. You can see there those firefighters are almost knee deep in water. And even if you're in a big SUV, you might think you can plow right through it. And then look at that, one section over, and you would be in much deeper water. So authorities in Hampton Beach are asking people to just temporarily evacuate, get out of the way, so that the fire crews, uh, police can deal with whatever they need to deal with. We can always end up with very dangerous situations as well uh, with water, electricity. They certainly don't mix. Now look at that. See, so the homes, there on the piers, jutting out into the water. Uh, you can't, those roads are impassable. You can't even get to those homes at this point. So we, we imagine that those are people who are going to evacuate to, again, an emergency uh, evacuation shelter at Hampton Academy Gymnasium. Uh, I understand we also have uh, images from Salisbury because several areas in Massachusetts are experiencing flooding because of our heavy rains. Uh, Salisbury Beach Road is impassable in both directions because of high tides. Look at this. Uh, Ferry Road and March Road are also flooded. And here's the problem. Those are clearly cars that thought they could make it, and then they got caught in high floodwaters. Town officials are asking again, don't drive through standing water. Uh, it could be much deeper than it appears. It could disable your car, especially depending on the age of the passengers in your car. If you either have small children or an elderly person, imagine how difficult it would be to help them or assist them if a car became disabled in deep water. So it just isn't worth it. We're going to keep our eye on this coastal flooding in Salisbury Beach, Hampton Beach. Uh, and again, hopefully, uh, as the tide goes out, some water will be receding. But we'll stay here and keep covering it for you on CBS News Boston.